Hello, this is Greg Brzezinski for Beard Brand, and I'm here at the Men's Club Barbershop in Philadelphia with Jake the Barber, and uh, he's going to sort out this mess. <laughs> what I'm thinking is, I want to cut my hair off in two phases, Okay. and so what can you do to keep actually most of this without looking like I'm trying to wear a man bun? Okay, so... Do you want to keep, I mean, we can keep all of it if you don't mind the overhang. I don't mind the, the overhang. I mean, is there, I, like, I don't want it up to zero. And, right, right, right. Yeah. I remember the picture you showed me um, was, it looked like there was some weight there, a good amount of weight. Right. And I think it was skin, right? The picture you showed me? Yeah, I'm okay with it skin, but I don't want skin up to the part. Right, right, right. Yeah. I can give you, like, a mid-skin fade. Um, section this off like it's sort of a disconnect or an undercut uh bring this up kind of short on the side but not buzzed um kind of like my sides so you see how mine are skin and there's still like all this weight here yep. and it's not zero up to the part and yeah, that's what have it like a disconnect like a like an undercut yep. and leave most of the top and if we have to cut the top we will <laughs> kind of like your call I have a bit of gel in my head. Okay. So it looks like this hair naturally falls this way. And I don't like to fight the hair. So when the hair is just cooperating with me the most. Um, and that's why I like to part it. <laughs> really, uh, I try to stay away from forcing your hair to go where it doesn't want to go. Because then when it dries, it's when you run into a problem. So I just try to find where it naturally parts, and it, it can take a little while, but I just want to make sure, because this is crucial. We don't want to damage the goods here. <laughs> but I'd like, so ideally, I really want to leave a lot of weight in these areas, so it doesn't look like uh, it's so much of an undercut. You can kind of wear it. Um, this is obviously going to hang, but it can look almost blended. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to skin you up to, like you were saying, up to the part. So, so I'm going to take a number two. Um, and that's just going to knock out a lot of this bulk here. Um, and I like to take a two guard because it's pretty foolproof. Um, and I keep it low on something like this. I can always go higher on a haircut like this. Um, you can always take more hair off. You cannot put more hair on. So that's a rule of thumb. Always do... Uh, what you can fix. So I'm just going to take this number two all the way around the head, leaving weight here. I actually have Brzezinski tattooed on my hand, as you can see. So I'm going to take my triple zero, and I'm going to create a skin line about two inches below uh, the number two line here. To really start that skin fade. So I'm going to take my detailers and I'm just going to take away this stubble here that's left, that the triple zero left. So I'm just knocking off this stubble with, with the, the detailer. And you just want to flick, flick your wrist here so you don't really create any hard lines up towards the top. So I'm going to take the Andis Balding Clipper. A shaver, a foil shaver, and just take it just below where I had that other clipper taking off the stubble. And this is going to really eliminate the stubble and it's going to make your fade pop.
any remaining lines that I see, I'll just knock down with uh, these detailers that I had before. Next, got my Anus Master. It's an adjustable clipper, all the way open. And I'll put a line, so it's pretty much like a one, right below that two line that I put in before. I'll just go all the way around the head with it, about an inch below the number two line. I'll just close it a little bit as I go. And that's going to knock this line out. I'm just chipping away at these hairs. A little bit more. You can always hear the hair cutting. If you don't hear the hair cutting, there's no hair being cut. <laughs> What's your preference in tying a bald fade into a beard? I do the same thing, just a reverse steps. So, you really don't need all the guards uh, to knock this line out. Really, I like to take the master all the way open, just a small, maybe like a half inch, fade that line out, and then you just kind of corner away just a little bit and chip it away. You don't ever want to take it down too low. It's like a, it's like a no-no for beards, especially a beard like that. You don't want to, you don't want to take it halfway down the cheek, you know. So I'll put my one on, and I like to work from side to side. So I stay on this side once I really start getting into the fade. Um, I, I knocked that line out, um, the master all the way open, right? And I took it down to zero. And I met that, that first line that I put in um, with the triple zero, right? With the master. Now I'll put a one on, same steps, all the way open. And I'll just fade down. And I'll come right below with the one all the way open, which is almost a two, I come right below the actual two line that I put in initially. And I close as I go down. I like to fade down. So I talked to other barbers about cutting gray hair. Mm -hmm. Any thoughts, any difference? Um, you... um, it's actually easier in my opinion. Yeah. yeah. And how, why is that? Uh, I don't know. I really don't know. I guess it blends with the scalp a little better. So if there is imperfections, they're invisible. Um, with dark hair, it's really hard because you can see every imperfection, especially on a light scalp. So um, it's like it's like having black paint on a white piece of paper. You know, it's, you can see it so well. Um, if you put you put a gray line on a white piece of paper, it's much harder to see. I guess that's the best way I can describe it. So you can be sloppy on my gray hairs? Up Absolutely. I actually have my eyes closed <laughs> for this beard line. I don't like to leave a hard line when I, you know, I put that skin line in right here. I like to just kind of corner this out so there's not a hard line. So now I'm going to work on this half line that I put in. I'm just finishing out the fade uh, with this one guard on right now, just kind of cornering it and chipping away at any little imperfections I see before I break out the shears. Just want to make sure all my clipper work is done. So for this part right here, before I get into the top, I like to take care of the sides. Um, and for hair like this, it's very straight and it tends to poke out. So what I'll do before I come in with shears is I'll actually get the comb, I'll get the clippers, and just kind of knock off these edges before I even break out the shears. It kind of just saves me some work, knock, knocks down some of this weight here. So 
now that a lot of that bulk is removed, it's going to be less work for the shears. And I really like to use shears for this part because it's fine tuning everything and I have control of, of what I'm doing with these. So I just kind of come in and chip away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to thin this out a bit with the thinning shears. So after I smooth it out with the normal shears, I just kind of want to take some weight out of here before I get into the top. And the top really doesn't need much work. I'm just kind of eliminate this edge here. Do people ask for a square back? Yeah, but I try to talk them out of it because it grows back and it looks kind of funky. I try to taper everything out. So like the, the back, I like to, if this is the back of your head, just kind of fade out gradually into the longer hair because it grows in naturally. If you square this, it would be like me putting a hard line all the way around your head, if that makes sense. So this is all going to be stubble down here, and this is going to be uh, significantly bigger or longer, the length of the hair. So with the top, Greg said he's trying to keep most of the length on top. So now that the sides are done, we can get into the top. And I usually cut the top first and then cut the sides, but uh, for this style, I like to cut the sides first um, because if I try to cut the top, I would have to cut the top, then section it, then cut the sides. So I just, I like to cut the sides first. So I'm gonna try to do uh, not a whole lot on top. I'm just gonna check it out. Wet it down, check it out, cut where I need to cut. Yeah, I want to be able to you know, part it and sure. you know, wear it rather. It's, it's, it's conservative as a bald fade can look. But. Absolutely. <laughs> but still, some style. I'm going to take a little bit off. Just kind of get the ends off. I mean, the top literally hasn't been cut in probably six months. Since Justin? Maybe? Yeah. Since that one video? Uh, the, not the last one, right? Like the, the one before that? Yeah. Probably? probably. Yeah. Maybe even back to December. Oh, wow. Uh... How are you deciding on length here? I'm just following the contour of the head. So I, I, I like to have, uh, for a style like this, uh, the front of the head. I like this hair to be... Uh, maybe you know an inch or so longer um, than the than the back because so for the back on the undercut I like I I like the overhang but I kind of want to mask the overhang in the back if he's wearing it straight back with the fade the length of the fade so I like to make it just short enough where it's not going to stick up but it's also kind of hidden by by the heaviness of this so I like to make it a bit bit longer in the front. I'm just evening out the back here just a bit. Just in case we want to go straight back so it looks more natural, but probably gonna go a little off to the side here. But we can go straight back if we want. Really go to either side. But if we're going straight back I like to make this look as even as possible. So, I'm pretty much completes it. I'm just going to kind of fine tune it just a bit, get the sides in order. Greg, what kind of products? How do you plan to style this when it's done? Um, one of the ways, I think I want to you kind of slick it back, but I think I can also part it hard and still keep it like this. Absolutely. Yeah. You know. And that's why that's why I sectioned it out and I left the weight. So it's um, you can have like the classic look, like the classic parted look, and you just use your product um, and put it this way and this way, or you can go straight back with it, cover the parts, 
or you can either go this way and get more of a, a less parted look on this side, but an undercut look on the other side. So it's a, you can do a few things, as long as you have the right product. How's that look? Good. Cool. You want, just want to put a little uh, Absolutely. stuff right here. Yeah. <laughs> Is this for the beer brand? This, yep. this video? Justin's one video has, I think, 350,000 views. No way. The club, let's go clubbing, I think we call it or something. Oh, cool. How's that look? How about uh, just pushing it forward a little bit? The front here? Yeah. Absolutely. Do you are you going for some volume? Is that Which what you want to do? Can I give it a try? Absolutely. I don't know how that looks back there, but... It looks good. It looks more of a blended look back here. Still the undercut, but... Because that's probably how I'll wear it to work. Okay. Cool. Does look okay? Looks great. Looks fantastic. Now this is one of the most important and overlooked parts of every haircut. The neck hair. Make sure you get all the neck hair. it up. Brand is a premium men's grooming company with products not only for your beard, but also your hair and body. Do yourself a favor and head over to beardbrand.com and take care of yourself. Or you can stick around and watch a few more of our awesome videos.